Welcome to another Click Consulting video podcast. My name is Jeff, and thank you for joining our Excel University series. Please grab a copy of the book and download the sample file so you can work along. This video provides the solutions to the better summing exercises. In this exercise, we'll explore one of my top five favorite functions of all time, the subtotal function. Use the subtotal function to compute the fixed asset subtotal. Now, use the subtotal function again to compute total assets. Be sure to include the entire assets range. Since subtotal functions exclude any other subtotal functions in the range, you won't double count fixed assets. Using the subtotal function in your workbooks will improve efficiency and reduce errors. In this exercise, we'll use the subtotal function to compute departmental group subtotals. Write the first subtotal function and fill it right. Now, I'll quickly do the others. Remember, the subtotal function for the company total should include the entire range. The subtotal function is incredible and should be used instead of the sum function for reports like this. In this exercise, we use the subtotal function for our SG&A report. I'll quickly write the subtotal function for all the subtotals and the grand total. As you can tell, for reports like this, the subtotal function is better than the sum function. Now go and sum no more. This video